All right, look, we continue to get more information every day about the hidden treasure of Area Zero, but one of the biggest announcements so far has been the return of every starter from Gen 1 through Gen 8 as a wild encounter in part to the Indigo Disc. And this is absolutely massive because that means now you don't have to use eggs to hunt for your starter or your shiny starter Pokemon. You can just use a sandwich and find them as a wild encounter. And I don't know about you guys, but that is absolutely massive to me. However, in the trailer, there is a little bit more <clears throat> information that's hidden in there that may hint at the future of Pokemon games. What the next Pokemon game coming out next year may be. So let's take a look at kind of a crazy theory that's been going around online for the last couple days. And... Uh, see what this is all about so let's get to it so if we check out the trailer that was released on Sunday for the hidden treasure of area zero for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uh, in the indigo disc the first announcement that is made in this is that all of the starters are returning however there's something interesting to note here in this first panel we get the fire starters we get Cyndaquil but we also get Torchic and I want you to pay attention to this because Cyndaquil was a starter in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And this may just look like a coincidence, but then we get Oshawott, another Legends Arceus starter, as well as Piplup. And finally, we get our grass type, ooh, that one went by real quick. We get our grass type starters. We get Rowlet, the final Legends Arceus starter, as well as Snivy. So we get the Pokemon Legends Arceus starters plus three new Pokemon, or not three new Pokemon, three different starters from three different regions, all showing up in the first 16 seconds of this trailer, uh, which in and of itself doesn't look like a whole lot, except then after this, we really don't get a whole lot of uh, Pokemon that are, you know, very different here. I mean, all three of these guys are, yeah. It's everybody is just uh, either, you know, in the same slot or not. Or they're all, uh, you know, just either together. There's no, like, commonality between anything else that is shown here. Uh, so this leads to a very interesting theory that people are speculating online. Is that uh, in showing this, the Pokemon Company is actually kind of confirming that a new Pokemon Legends game is on the way. Uh, seeing as we got Pokemon from... Legends Arceus as the first three frames out of this trailer. But we also get three different Pokemon with them from three different regions as well. Uh, which in and of itself doesn't seem like enough proof here to kind of solidify that there's going to be another Legends game. But there's a little bit more to this. Because at the end of the trailer, we get this nice little reveal here of... Uh, the brand new terrestrialization, the 19th terrestrialization in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And we know that terrestrializing is like the main mechanic in the game, but we get this rainbow terrestrialization that shows up in here. And obviously this has something to do with Terrapagos uh, and the end of DLC Part 2 at the Indigo Disc. We're obviously going to have to face off. But we get this wonderful Terra crown here that has all of the Terra jewels going around it. Uh, and this kind of, kind of hints at a couple things here. So number one, we've actually seen a mechanic in the game before where all of the Terra types, or not all the types, all the Pokemon types are combined together. Because another phenomenon in the main blind Pokemon games where all of the typings of Pokemon were combined together was the use of infinite energy in Pokemon X and Y. Uh, which is derived from the life force of Pokemon. It's literally every type of energy uh, originates you know, from this. It was also used in the creation of Mega Evolutions, but that's a whole explanation for another video. And this is one of those you may be thinking, oh yeah, okay, they're similar. But then somebody pointed out to me that, uh, you know what, we've actually seen this before. Because someone actually pointed out to me that in Pokemon X and Y, uh, infinite energy does look very, very similar to the crystallization patterns we see in Area Zero way down in the crystal mines. I mean, you just look at this, you know, it's nice, it's shiny, it's crystalline. 
And it's kind of hard to deny that these two do not look very similar in some way or another, uh, which kind of leads to the going theory. The going theory that we are being shown these Pokemon in the beginning of this trailer because they match up with the Legends Arceus lineup that uh, we are actually going to be getting the reveal for the next Legends game after the end of Part 2, the Indigo Disc, after the DLC has been released. Uh, and the theory is also that this Legends game will take place in the Kalos region and will be a future uh, Legends game instead of a past game like Legends Arceus was. So... If everything is to be believed, if you believe this theory, if you believe all of the little nitpicky things that people are picking out online, uh, there is a chance that we could be getting a Pokemon Legends game based in the Kalos region, uh, based off Pokemon X and Y that takes place in the future, which also makes sense because some of the Pokemon in Violet uh, are Pokemon that were kind of very prominent in the Kalos region, uh, you know, Hydreigon being one of those, and they, are get, they got future forms so does this theory have any merit to it i have absolutely no idea but this is one of those that i've had enough people share this with me and i've seen this theory floating around enough times online that i absolutely just could not avoid uh making a video on it and sharing this kind of this crazy theory with you guys so let me know down in the comments below what do you think about all of this put together you know the uh the duality of the starters in the trailer, the fact that the uh, infinite energy in X and Y is very close to the terrestrialization patterns that we see in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, um, everything else that has been shown with this that we talked about in this video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think we're going to get a future type Pokemon Legends game based in the Kalos region, or do you think that people are just grasping at straws at this point? Let me know down in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.